Hey guys, how you doing today? So we're on a 2019 BMW X3, and I want to show you a unique feature about the King Bowling K8 Pro that I just happened to come across the other day, and I think it's worth showing because uh, it's the first time I've seen this on a scan tool. Uh, my Think Car doesn't have it. My Moo Car doesn't have it. My Launch Scan Tools doesn't have this feature. So I want to give you a uh, chance to take a look at this and see if it might be something that you might uh, think is worth having on a scan tool. I think if you're a do-it-yourselfer, it's going to definitely be a nice uh, option to have. So I'm just IDing the car. We're going to get into a uh, module here. And we're going to press on with what uh, this feature is. All right, so at this point, uh, I think you've seen pretty much this screen right here. I've shown it in multiple videos. I'm just going to go ahead and do a health report. Uh, this feature is something that you have to have a code to utilize. And this car, being a BMW, definitely is going to have some codes. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll go into the very first one here, this uh, BDC or the body domain controller. Hit continue to that. And there's an option right here. If you take a look, it says fault guidance. Now, I didn't know what that was, so I clicked on it the other day. And I'm going to take you through what I found. And we're going to explore this together and see uh, how handy it may or may not be. I believe you do have to be hooked to Wi-Fi for this to work. And so if you take a look at this, these, you know what, let me go back. Because the first thing you need to see is, first I'm going to read the fault code. So we have two, uh, three technically, uh, BDC request to reset KL30F due to standby current violation. Uh, BDC activation of parking status, vehicle electrical system not okay, and battery under voltage in the remote control. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, and now we're going to go into fault guidance. And if you take a look at the two items that it lists here, they are related to the DTCs that we have on this car. Uh, remote key and remote control receiver and energy diagnosis. So I'm going to... I'm going to, we're going to start with the very first one. Um, you can see where it says function available. So I'm going to tap the top one. I'm going to hit operate. And this is why I think you have to be hooked to Wi-Fi. Because it looks like it's probably downloading something from the Internet. Uh, I'm assuming it's coming off King Boland's uh, server. Kind of tells you what's going on. You just kind of have to wait a little bit for it to uh, get to the diagnostic steps. And it kind of gives you a description of the problem and possible tips on fixing it. So follow, uh, follow, fault data, fault, uh, following fault data are stored for the tested function or component group, F1, uh, and then you see the number there, radio remote control, battery under voltage, select fault code and continue. Of course, you've got F1 down here at the bottom, so I'm going to click it. Uh, and this is kind of unique. Uh, I never really thought about this, but it says that uh, tint on your windows can affect the range of the remote. Never really thought about that. I can definitely see that as being an issue on, on cars. Um, I don't think that's what the problem is on this car. Uh, we don't really seem to have any remote problems, but we do have a fault for it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And you can see all the numbers down at the bottom, F1, F2, F3. And I'm just going to scroll through, and you can see the corresponding uh, selections that it's got here. Function check of remote control battery. Functional check of remote key, and so forth. Now, I'm not going to click on every one of these. Um, we'll, we'll pick one or two to, to do. Let's go ahead and do F8, fault patterns. 
and let's see what it what it says here. Okay, there is no fault pattern for this type of remote key, okay? Go ahead and hit continue for that. Uh, fault data display, see what that says. Okay, following fault data are stored for the tested functional component. Under voltage, I'm going to hit F1. Okay, that looks like the same thing that we had already seen earlier. Uh, check wires and plug connections. Okay, let's see if that's going to be helpful. Check lines and plug connections for the following component according to wiring diagram. Uh, remote control receiver. If a communication fault occurs sporadically, uh, especially check the plug connections for loose contacts and corrosion. Has a fault been determined? I'm just going to hit no to that. Uh, no fault found. Tested. Uh, continue test module with continue. Um, it does, you know, you can see right here, frequency 434 megahertz. So it does kind of give a uh, frequency of the remote. And it does recognize that as a U.S. version. So anyway, at this point, I don't know, you know, if any of those steps would actually be useful. In this particular case, you could start at F1 and go all the way down to F10. Um, I'm going to hit F10 just to get out of that, and we're going to go to another one. Okay, uh, battery of the remote key faulty. Carry out a remote key reset. Uh, charge the remote key. Remote key faulty. Voltage supply faulty. Lines or plug. Uh, and I'm going to hit F9, no fault found, end of test module. Let's go ahead and go to energy diagnosis. I'm going to hit operate. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know, uh, you know, if you just did not have any clue at all on a particular problem, this might kind of help guide you to where you might actually find you know find a solution to your problem so let's see what this says uh bdc request to reset due to standby current violation activation of parking status vehicle electrical system not okay let's hit f1 and see what what it uh, says here And I'm also going to do a video, if you guys are interested, where I actually do an online programming of one of the modules on this vehicle, just to see if the King Bolin will do it. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that, that's where if you if you have to replace a module uh, because you've determined that the module is faulty and you put another module in, uh, the King Bolin is able to program that module. So uh, if you want to see that, make sure that you... Uh, uh, su subscribe and uh, click that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I get that video put up, which is probably going to be within the next week or week and a half. Now, I don't know if I need to hit continue now or wait for that to get to 100%. Uh, looks like it's kind of hanging there at 88. There it goes. Okay. So, let's see, evaluation range. Corresponds to 142 miles, the energy diagnosis procedure. Current over voltage detected. Activation of parking condition, consumer reduction detected, closed circuit current violation detected, general information. Let's just take a look at this general information real quick. Charge, let's say I'm going to hit F5, load reduction, just to see what it says. Heaters, blowers were switched off for more than five minutes to protect the battery, either due to extreme temperatures or because the battery charge was very low. Check if the battery must be recharged. We're not having a problem with the battery, but we, the car may actually have a, a uh, you know, weak battery. Let me hit F1. 
It just says battery. That is correct. 100, 105 ampere hour AGM current register battery capacity is 105. Pass battery change at 37,000. We have 65,000 on it now. It says battery is okay. Current state of charge is 89%. Current startability limit 30%. So I don't know. I mean, that seems like some pretty good information. History of test module changes. Set F10 to that. This is not a hybrid. So let me, I'm going to hit back to get out of that. And okay, we're back to this screen. So let's go back. We're going to pick another module. Electronic transmission management. Let's take a look at that one. We'll go ahead and do all these just to see what the fault guidance has to say about each one. And like I say, I don't know if this would end up being something that uh, would end up being useful, but it's just something that I have not seen on any of my other scan tools. You need to download the functional programs online? Yes. So that just verified you do have to be connected online. Okay. Uh, the following bus system faults are combining this test module. Interface signal invalid. This is a consequential fault. Detailed information. Special procedure for problem cases. Let's hit F2 first. Okay, got some information here. Okay, special procedure for problem cases. So let's go ahead and hit that. So it's giving you some information that you otherwise may not have access to. Let's go ahead and end that one. We're going to go back and we're going to go into another module, uh, the stability control. Okay, no special function match. So I guess there's nothing under uh, stability control. Let's take a look at the camera. And then I think the last one was that uh, headlight. I wish we had one on the engine control module, a fault. Uh, it'd be interesting to go through the engine control module. Okay, so camera-based assistant uh, assistance system. Let's see what it has for that. All right, camera, field of view, malfunction due to weather conditions, lack of visibility. This kind of gives you some general information there. All right. End test module. Wasn't really a whole lot. Uh, to get out of that, let's go to the headlight. Yeah, the engine control module would be a very interesting one to, uh, to see what all this may have for that. This will be the last one, and we're going to be done with this deal. I just wanted to show that because I haven't uh, seen that on any, any of my other scan tools.
All right, that's about all there is. So, like I say, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if this would be uh, something that might help you out, get you out of a bind, if you just absolutely didn't know anything about a particular code or the way the system worked. This might give you, uh, you know, some information to help you get through that and figure out a problem that you're having. Anyway, this is the uh, K8 Pro. Uh, this scan tool has free lifetime updates. And we are on a uh, 2019 BMW X3. And just looking at that fault uh, diagnostic function that it has. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you.